when you get your employee IDs, those will get you onto the intranet. Probably, again, it's an old company, very old system, a lot of... Anyway, that's it. Are we not watching, like, uh, one of those sexual harassment things? Like a, like a series of vignettes about it? No. Why would we... Why... Weird, I didn't bring that in. You two should go home. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, which two? All of you. Go. Oh, teacher, you forgot to give us homework. Oh, cool it, Glen Gary. Hey, don't worry about her, man. I don't actually care that much. Except that Glen Gary is actually a property. That bothers me a little bit. Make them watch the video. How fucking hard is that? Fuck! They still haven't set up my desk yet. Hey, do you mind if I print some stuff at yours? Sorry to make you stay late. Yeah, it's no problem. I'll, I'll go grab it. The weirdest thing just happened. Nope, 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 nope. You! Uh, yeah, you. You see me. And you're alive. Wild. Hey, I'm sorry I swore earlier. Not very professional. Don't tell the higher-ups. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Oh, phew. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Oh, no, no. Where are you going, man? You can't leave. Not until I get what I need out of you. So I just have to watch this? It's sexual harassment training. It's mandatory. Right, it's just my manager said that. <laughs> Than Randy. I know. He thinks the company doesn't need HR replacements since the accident. Okay. Yeah. This isn't just for me. This is for you, so you know the rules. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm pumped. I burned up in a fire. Oh? Seemed like you wanted to know. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Hey, listen, I need you to promise that you'll make any other new hires watch this. Sort of the reason I'm still hanging around. Understand? I need you to say it. All right, um, I promise I will make all the new hires watch this sexual harassment video. Thank you. Thank you. Buddy. Sorry about last night. My mom called and the reception in here is terrible. Hey, how old did they say this company was again? Over 100 years. Crazy, right? These walls could talk. Why? No reason. Hey, you know, we're, we're late for a meeting. Are you serious? Today's like the first day where we don't have meetings. <laughs> this place is basically dead. No, but you... Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Why are you whispering? And then he said it's kind of why I'm still hanging around. And now it's like a bunch of others found out and it's like they're, they're drawn to me. Look, I know it sounds crazy. Are you kidding? Crazy awesome. You have it, dude. The gift. You gotta talk to them. I do not. I have to quit. What? Dude, this is a classic unfinished business scenario. They're coming to you for help. 
This is an opportunity. But you don't understand. They're like really scary. Okay. Now I don't know why it's you, but here we are. You're the only one that can help them move on. But you don't have to do it alone. I'll be with you. Every step. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? No. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a... Uh, uh, is it kissing time? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, Joe. Anyway. There um, you are. What are you doing? Nothing. Joe tried to kiss me and he can see ghosts. Dude. All right. Your work is piling up? So come on. Yeah. Hey, unrelated to anything, there's a, a video I needed to watch. Okay, closing time. I basically got no work done because I'm so excited. So how's this work? Do we have to wait till a certain time or can we start now? We could probably start now. That's the spirit. <laughs> because of... Okay. And while I was sick, my mom was with me every day. And I was never really sure if she knew just how... I don't think she knew how to input my sick time correctly. She's not really good with computers. So then I accidentally pushed reply all instead of just reply. But I never got to send that fax. I waited too long. All right, um, I, I don't even know where I'd find a fax machine now. Um, would, would an email work? It needs a cover page. Attention, everybody in the office. I'm so sorry. It's me, Spencer. Uh, it was an accident. You know I have. I have thick fingers, you know. You always make fun of me for that, and I never... All right, I'm just gonna say it. You're smelly. This is for you. So, what? How does it feel? Um, you know, fine. I guess I didn't anticipate that all their unfinished business was going to be actual business. You know, it's sort of sad. And I guess while we're on it, I'm a little bit worried about the acceptance policy into the afterlife now. Oh, that's it. I can't do this. Okay, this isn't going to work every day with all of that fucking wind in your fucking jaws. Joe, shut it. Shut your fucking soup coolers. No. You know what? No. You listen to me, Rachel. You're mean. All right? And I've had the kind of day where I would never forgive myself if I didn't tell you that because I might not be able to tomorrow. Look, you don't like hearing us talk? Well, fuck off. All right? Go find another place to sit or find a new job because this side of the room is clicking. You're the problem. This side of the room? Yeah, the Cameron and me. Cameron? Who the fuck is Cameron? You two should go home. Which two? I still haven't set up my desk yet. There you are. What, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay, mark my words, crazy. I'm going to do everything within my power to get you fired. Wait. Fired! Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. But why? Joe, do you have any idea how long I've been here? 20 years. Some ghosts even longer. We've been waiting for you. All of us. Sarah? This is Sarah. Funny story, I decided to take a vacation in Bali, and guess who was on the same exact flight? This beautiful creature. Guess it's one of those weird coincidence things. <laughs> Because you were dating. What? Come on. No. No, 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 no. Hey, man, you're, no. you're clearly dating. Come on, man. That's against policy. Anyway, the plane crashed. Oof. Who saw that coming? Could have used it then. I can talk to dead people. I can't predict when planes are going to crash. Just wait. So we died before we could... See, Sarah and I never... Wow, this is so awkward to say. Um, Sarah and I never really... You need my corporeal form to consummate your tryst. Of course. No. 
Thank you. Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, Sarah and I need to fill out a disclosure. <sighs> wow. I feel so good to finally say <laughs> disclosure. <laughs> Sarah and I are in a relationship, and I don't care who knows it. Now. OK. Yeah. OK. And that's, that's it. That's it. Listen, Joe, you've been a really good friend, and I know we've only known each other for a short time, but I don't know how to thank you. It's nothing. You've been a really good friend, too. And I think you also saved me, in a way. So, thanks. Thanks for watching this installment of Crack Studios uh, Horror Anthology. Please like and subscribe. And uh, fun fact, I was really sick in that in that shoot. I played a ghost. You might have noticed, but I was throwing up all over myself. That was that was for real. That was some. So I was I just I showed up just ill as shit. I was eating raw pancakes, thrown up into my belly button between takes. It was really early career De Niro. Shit. Very method. Now go back with this knowledge, and you'll appreciate my performance more because you know it's real. It came from a real place in my heart.